Thank you and be seated. One of the exciting things that is happening here in Bellevue Baptist Church is a program that we call Evangelism Explosion. And God has taken some of our people and given them a heart on fire for reaching people for Jesus Christ. I'm so excited about this. We had an airline pilot to testify and to share with us uh, several Wednesday nights ago. Larry Pete uh, told us about what is happening in Evangelism Explosion and what a blessing has been to his life and through his life. And he is a leader in Evangelism Explosion. Now we have another airline pilot. I want to give a testimony and share. I want to give a testimony and to share uh, what is happening in his heart and in his life and what he, he means to him. Rusty Haley, would you come, dear beloved brother? He also, Rusty, is a member of Bellevue Baptist Church. I always feel a little better when I get in an airplane and I look up there and one of these men of God is at the controls. Rusty, God bless you. Thank you. Well, good evening. I was hoping the rapture would come before I stood up here. I'll tell you what. I was a little bit nervous, but uh, after I look out here and see so many smiles, I'm, I'm pretty calm now. I'd like to just tell you in the next uh, few minutes what EE means to me and how it's really changed my life, or my life, rather. Uh, a few years ago, Dr. Rogers was preaching a sermon on a Wednesday night about soul winning. And he was the, uh, using the scripture when Jesus saw Simon and uh, his brother Andrew and asked him, to uh, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. So after the close of that sermon, Dr. Rogers said, anyone who really wants to commit themselves to the Lord and be a soul winner, just please come and stand on this side of the sanctuary. So my wife and I went forth and we were very enthused about that. Several weeks later, I was on an airplane sitting in a back riding to Atlanta, Georgia. There was a man sitting next to me and I was thinking, Lord, I'm ready to go fishing. Please tell me how to witness to this man. Well, about that time, he pulls out a New Testament. Well. <laughs> the, uh, the Southern Baptist Convention was going on in Atlanta, and I said, he's got to be a preacher. That's what I figured. So I said, excuse me, sir, are you a preacher? He said, no, I'm not a preacher. He said, in fact, I've never read the Bible at all. He said, my son gave me this Bible, and he suggested I read it. And I said, well, Lord, here's my chance. So I began to share with this man, and I told him about Jesus. I told him about the church. And uh, that's really about all I did. And when we landed, that man went his way, and I went my way. But I didn't lead him to the Lord, or I just wasn't able to do that. And I remember in the sermon that Dr. Rogers was preaching that, that Wednesday night about soul winning. He said, you know, when you go fishing, people always ask you, well, did you catch any fish? And you say, well, yeah, I caught four fish. I didn't catch any. But they never say, well, you never say, rather, how many fish did, uh, or I'm sorry, you don't ever say, well, I influenced some fish today. So that day, I don't know whether I influenced that man or I drowned him or what, but I realized, I realized I needed a fishing partner. So there was a Mid-America Baptist Theological Seminary student in my Sunday school class who was a soul winner. And he was a preacher boy like I have never seen. And every Sunday, he would always tell us about soul winning. So I asked him, I said, would well, you mind if I went out with you one night? And he said, sure, that's fine. So we met in a parking lot. And uh, he asked me, he said, have you ever been trained in any kind of uh, soul, witness ministry, soul witnessing ministry? And I said, no, I haven't. He said, well, I've been trained in EE. And I said, well, what's that, electrical engineering? I, I've never heard of it. He said, no, that's evangelism explosion. It's a ministry that teaches you how to share your faith and lead other people to Jesus Christ. So that night we went out. And we went to an apartment complex, and there I saw him, through the working of the Holy Spirit, lead two people to Christ. He gave his testimony, he used scriptures. I, didn't, I just couldn't believe he could remember some of the scriptures, and he used illustrations. I mean, I was all folks. I, I was just petrified. I, it was really amazing to me to see someone do that in such a, a simple, simplified manner. We left there, and we went to another apartment complex. It was a cold, dark night, raining, the weather was really bad. And uh, we couldn't find the address. So he said, well, let's just knock on anybody's door and tell them about Jesus. I said, you can knock on anybody's door, but not me. Folks, I had a fear. I had a fear. And it really, I realized that I wasn't equipped to do what I wanted to do. If you're going to go fishing, you need a pole and a line and a bait and a hook and a sinker and so forth. Well, praise God, if you're in that same boat that I was in, we have Evangelism Explosion here at Bellevue now. It's a rather new ministry, and it's getting, uh, we've had it just uh, all, uh, six to eight months, and it's really uh, just moving forward. Uh, what we do, we go out in teams of three. We have one trainer and two trainees. And the course is 16 weeks long, and I can remember going out when I was first being trained, and uh, I was knocked on one of those first doors, and I was praying, Lord, I hope they're not home. I mean, I was scared. I had a fear. 
But let me tell you, now I go and knock and I say, Lord, I hope they're home. And if they're not there, I'm going to the neighbor on the left or the neighbor on the right to share Jesus with them. And you know, I remember the night that it was my night to present the gospel. And this young person invited us in. I got in there and I began to share. And it was like lateraling the football back to my trainer. I mean, I had it so messed up, the gospel presentation that I was using. I just seemed like it was out of order and just really confusing to me, and I finally said to the person as I concluded, would you like to receive God's gift of eternal life? And that person said, yes, I would. And I almost wanted to say, you do. I mean, but you see, you see, folks, we go out and, and knock on the doors, but the Holy Spirit is going out and knocking on that person's heart because each of us have prayer partners. Each one of us have two prayer partners. So there's six people praying for each team that goes out. We don't go out without prayer. So in closing, I just want to say this. You know, the greatest thing that ever happened to me was receiving Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. And after that was marrying my wonderful wife and being there when all three children have been born. But I must say that the EE ministry, just seeing people here at Bellevue from all walks of life going out and learning how to share their faith and win others to Christ has been one of the greatest thrills of my life. But you know what's even greater than that is to train someone. You train them and then take them out, and you watch that person lead somebody to Jesus Christ. As a man said, it just don't get no better than that. You know what I mean? That is fantastic. So if you're interested, we have some openings left. Our kickoff banquet is Tuesday night, and you'll just call the church Tuesday morning and make the reservation. Thank you. Well, thank you, Rusty. Isn't that a wonderful testimony? Praise God. Amen. Rusty, were you a little frightened standing up here? I'm glad you were. I've had so many white knuckles on those airplanes. I'm just delighted. That, <laughs> I'm just delighted that, uh, that you might be just a little frightened up here. God bless you. We, we thank God that you're not ashamed of Jesus Christ. That's wonderful, wonderful.